coffee. That was random, but it was also lovely. Hi, I'm Bugsy the Knitter. Welcome back to my um, podcast, vlogcast. Mm, it's one or the other. This is chaos behind me, and in the corner of the screen, you'll see some of the wool that I did get um, at the Flag Fiber Wool Festival. Wool and Fiber Festival. A lot has been going on recently, so my posts are really erratic. But I have an hour in between uh, clients today, and my son's doing some video editing for his YouTubes. So we're just up here together enjoying the chaos that creativity prompts, creates, I don't know, words and stuff. They are not doing well today. This is my third cup of coffee, which is much needed. Um, so it is Tour de Fleece, which is super exciting because as a cyclist, I'm also, I watch the Tour de France for about half an hour each morning. More importantly than the Tour de France is the Tour de Femmes that is coming up as soon as the Tour de France ends. Um, it's like uh, Tour de Femmes and it's sponsored by Zwift, which is one of the really great outcomes from the pandemic is the number of women who, who cycle. Well, obviously women have been cycling for forever, in which case I'm actually going to pause and be right back. Well, that's probably going to result in a really clunky edit, but hey, I'm working on it. Speaking of editing, I did buy yet another microphone from Amazon, which I know is absolutely retail devil, but I don't know where else to get a microphone from. However, it was wrong again, so I don't know how to buy the correct um, microphone to fit into my iPad. But anywho, things that I don't purchase on Amazon include books because Amazon likes to undercut uh, local bookstores and from what I've heard and read that they act I'm out of breath from going up and down stairs but from what I've heard and read they actually try to undersell to where they actually lose money when they sell books to drive out the competition of actual bookstores so I've been very very good I would say 95% of the books that I purchase I either purchase from our local bookstore brick and mortar brick and mortar bookstores or um from Bookman's via different places like that. But I love cycling. I'm totally interrupting myself and I'm fine with that. Hope you are too. It happens a lot here. So Miles From Nowhere was this great travel cycling book. Um, it's super sad because the writer did end up uh, passing away via a cycling accident. Um, I live here in, here. I live here in Arizona and I actually do have like the special license plate so more money goes to sharing the road of initiatives you know because like let's not be assholes I did almost get hit when I was pregnant uh, with my most recent pregnancy from a guy who was very pissed off that I was in the cycle lane at a traffic intersection um, so stuff like that is super jerky and don't do that but anyway this is from her name is Barbara Savage and she kept these great journals and it was during her travels with her husband and um, she was like in social services and her husband was an engineer, which really resonated, resonated because I am a social worker slash therapist and my husband is an engineer. So that was cool to read. So after I read that book, I was like, I need more books about cycling since I love cycling. Sound a bit manic, I'm gonna take that down a notch. But so I bought this book from Hannah Ross and the, the, the history behind women cycling is so rich. I super recommend it. And so yeah, women's cycling has been around as long as men's cycling has been around. And the fact that we don't get the funding, I mean, not being a professional cyclist, only an amateur one, but the fact that we don't get the kind of sponsorships and it's just as exciting as male cycling is bullshit. Um, maybe I'll put a sense of word in there, probably not. Um, if you don't like salty language, you probably don't want to watch this. I don't say too many things, but I do talk about freeing the nipple and um, all kinds of other things. So. Might be safe work, might not. Depends on where you work and if you use headphones. But so, um, I'm excited for the Tour de France because I have concentrated time to spend. I make concentrated time to spend with the Tour de Fleece. But I'm really excited for the Tour de Femmes, which brings me back to my point 10 minutes ago or five. During the pandemic, lots of people in general are using Zwift 
as a way of keeping up with their cycling and having a sense of community. I did not, um, as I was like way too busy working and uh, everything else that was happening in my life at that point in time. But they were like, oh, there's actually a woman following. People, women like to cycle too. So now there's going to be the Tour de Femmes, which is a seven day event. I think it runs from the 24th to the 31st or the 30th, I don't know. Something around there, but I know as soon as the Tour de France and the Tour de Femmes starts, and I'm just as excited for that. And I encourage all other yarn spinners, wool spinners, to also spin during those months. And let's keep that hashtag going and figure out another hashtag to go with it. Like, we're like 51% of the population, if we stay within those two binaries at least. So let's, like, come on, let's get our representation out there and not like, let's not put our spindles and our spinning wheels down when the Tour de France ends because we need to show up and take the space too. Coffee break. Speaking of women cyclists, one of the things I'm really excited about is Jenny Graham's Coffee First book. I ordered it, I pre-ordered it back in March and it should be coming today, perhaps. There was an issue from the local bookstore where I ordered it that it didn't get fulfilled. I've called twice, I've been up there three times. They probably kind of irritated with me right now, but they're quite lovely. I understand it wasn't them, it's like a warehouse thing. But that book, today is seven of the seven to 10 days since it got reordered, so I'm really hoping that that comes in soon because um, I'm absolutely like, gagging to read it. But if it doesn't, I have plenty of other things to do, including the four chickens about to be five, the children, the husband, the house, the career, all the other things, so I will get to read the book eventually, but soon or rather than later, I hope. So much chaos. I went to our local yarn store the other day for a Tour de Fleece spinoff. And so I made this. I bought this fleece two years ago. It was like a Suffolk blend. Um, I purchased it. It smells good because I washed it in some eucalyptus soak, but I got that spun up. I spent three hours and I overworked my thumb, but the next day I, was, I, I stretched it and everything like that. Um, so I soaked it. I weighed it up in the bathroom or hung it with a weight in the bathroom and then tried to make a skein. I really, really want a sewing machine. I have a sewing machine. I want a spinning wheel, but as I talked about in my last post, that's not gonna happen for a while. And so I got that. I found out what kind of spinning, uh, drop spindle I do have, which was interesting. I actually don't have any other fleece that I'm working on up here, but fleece. That's downstairs. Um, and I have to be back at work soon downstairs, so I'm not gonna run down and get it. But I'm working on like a little sampler pack that first. And then I think I have either some Corydale or some Blueface Lester that I'm gonna to seek to spin up. When I was going through things, I found this tinsel that I spun before. And I'm like, oh, you know what? I thought I hated it, but it's actually not that bad. So I think I might actually spin some more on this. And I was gonna see if somebody wanted to do a giveaway. I think there's only like two to three ounces. I'm like, yeah, it's probably not even worth it. So I'm gonna go ahead and hold on to it and just spin it up. Here are some other things that I've spun in the past. I don't know why I do these old samplers because I don't have too much. Put these books down. I don't have that too much to do with, so I have like this little pink and white one. That's lovely. Super tiny pink one. I have used some on some different art. Did that one a while back. Yeah. It's all kind of good stuff. I, I need to do something with it. And, ooh, what's this one? Oh, this is pretty good. I have no clue what this is. It looks like I spun a bunch of little bits. To, oh, it's two different. Oh, it looks like I said whatever and just spun it all together. Look how small that is. Oh. What a lovely tension. So, I like spinning. I want to do more of it. Then I need to do something with the bits. 
So that's one that I spun. Isn't that funny? It's a toilet paper. God knows from when. Or a toilet paper roll. It's not a toilet paper. That would be weird. But so there's that chaos going on there. I have this, which is a self-drafted design. That should be done this weekend. Perhaps today, depending on how work goes. It's kind of hard to see. But so now I'm doing this crop cardigan. Uh, I got made these sleeves out of some cumulus that I bought on our birthday trip up to Washington and Oregon. This is wool that I purchased last year during World Wide Noon Public Day when we were in San Diego for my birthday trip. The fact that I'm a knitter and my birthday falls on World Wide Knit and Public Day weekend is pretty sick in my opinion. Probably getting too old to say sick, but whatever. I'm dating myself here. So yes, on camera it does not look that flattering or complimentary, but I think in person it looks quite lovely and is a nice contrast. So I'm looking forward to getting this finished up. I'm going to only block this lace section so that it opens up a little bit. Um, I've got kind of like counterwise uh, contrasting like zigzaggy lace sort of thing. I feel like I created this stitch. I'm not sure if I actually did, but I'm loving it. I still haven't done a recap from my birthday trip, which I, I'm going to work on ish. I really want to enjoy this vlogging process, but I know it does need more structure, but I think that might happen when the school year happens because we get a super short summer holiday this year as so our school districts change. I don't get a summer holiday, but my child who's sitting over there staring at me cringing, he gets one and it's two weeks shorter than usual, which makes me so Um, So that's done. I've still got my Jesse May ripple crop top going on. I think I have the perfect thing to wear that with. I just, I need to print out the pattern properly so I can see like the German short rows. I printed it out on fluorescent yellow paper. Excuse me. Which I'm learning about myself. I don't love reading patterns off of fluorescent yellow paper. It hurts my eyes. It's visually ugly to me, even though I like fluorescent colors. So I need to print it out on some white so I can like actually read it because I, I pick it up and I'm just like, Ugh, can't do that. So I'm a bit broken there. The yarn that I was like, should I buy more of, should I not? Because the house has eaten a skein of it and accidentally bought two more in the wrong color. So this is still, it's a Charisma by Martin Story. Rome should just hire me to do some of their test knitting since I knit so many of their designs anyways. Hint, hint. Hi, Rowan. I'm English too. Um, what the hell is an American accent? But that's beside the point. So anyways, I got two more. I don't see any significant change in the dialogue, so I didn't rip back and integrate it any. And so I'm in the middle of a row, which I know is faulty. But yes, yeah, so I'm on the front now, loving this. Can't wait for that to be done. I have a really cool fabric. Actually, I think I'll just go ahead and pop it out if I can get to it. It's fine. Everything. And here's where we have some of that shame for having so many crafting supplies. I start out with like, having these really great um, systems, as I think a lot of us do, and then it goes to hell. Um, I've been looking for this so I can frog this for forever because I'm going to make another girl in the world sweater. This is a Malabrigo single that I got years ago, and I made, like, it's from when I worked in the office. And I made like a shrug to go with an outfit. That that shrug is is pretty shruggy. Maybe it's upside down, but it's not a good look. It's not comfortable. Cast off is way too tight. But I'm just so happy I found this. I've been looking for this in like my scraps box and everything. I love it, but now I get to frog it and I get to make the yellow, mustard yellow girl in the world sweater. Love it! So, that worked out, didn't it? Uh, 
um, it was this fabric. This fabric was bought, uh, given to me by one of my lovely friends called, I call it Fancy Deb, a lot of us do. But so I've got this uh, maroon suede-ish fabric that my mom gave me and I've got this. So I'd really like to make like a tweedy skirt with some patches in there, not patches, but like panels. And then also with that, uh, I just think I'm gonna make a fantastic outfit. If not, I've got enough of this fabric that I could actually make a pair of trousers, which I also really want to do. And now that I'm close to meeting my daughter, I should be back to or close to getting to some kind of like size that I sit up for a while. Oh no, that's the wrong fabric. I lied. Here it is. So it's got this sparkle in it and some color. I think that will go well together. Oh, I've got so many cool fabrics. I should probably sell a little bit more before I get all excited about buying a spinning wheel. Okay, those aren't going to fit in in time. And I like legit have five minutes before I have to go back to work. Ah! That time went by quickly. Um, I plan on doing some more tutorials on sewing up toys. Really just interrupt myself. Um, I still have my teddy bear, Paddington bear that I need to sew up. I've got Timmy um, that I need to sew up from Craft World. And then finally, as soon as I get either this sweater or the maroon sweater done, which this one's gonna be done first, I'm gonna allow myself to batch cast all my three or four things, which I am fond of doing. So here's the button band. I have just the final bit of the sleeve to do on this. And this is from Rowan Mode. Be lady like you. I cropped it a bit, but since I am five foot two, it doesn't look cropped, but I know if I made it the full length that it would, it would hit like there. So I cropped it a little bit so that it fits me appropriately. If I wasn't a miniature human, I just said miniature really weird, but yeah. So um, yeah, the next time that I do a post, I'll probably do a little bit of a show and tell of things that I've actually completed. This will be tidier, maybe, but yeah. Um, I want to link the books below. I know I still need to link things from my previous blog post. So I will try and do that today after I do some editing uh, and I do plan on doing some live cross stitching on my Instagram, which is Bugsy the Knitter also at some point in time. I think that's pretty much everything. I've been knitting, I've been drop spindling. I'd love to know what other people are working on for Tour de Fleece and if they have any plans to also keep spinning during Tour de Femmes. And like we need to come up with another cash name because right? Tour de Fleece has been around for forever, but like how can we also make sure like we have our own thing for the Tour de Femmes spinning? So any questions about anything, uh, put them below and yeah, thank you. Please like and subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, all that fun stuff. I've got 32 subscribers, so we're trucking right along there. Um, yeah. All right. Have a lovely day. Bye.